Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be creating a flipbook. So this is a really simple flipbook tutorial for anyone who wants to create it for the first time. Um, basically what I do is I had these two craft paper. So they're a bit thicker than normal paper. They're usually kind of like cardboard, um, but just obviously a little bit thinner. Um, and basically what I've done is cut a few different shapes out and then I'm just figuring out a way that they would fit nicely together and flip open. So after I've done that I've just sewn around the edges and then crafted all over, added a few goodies in and then I'm done. And then I've added also a little pocket of goodies as well, tied it all together and that's what we're going to be creating today. So enjoy the video um, and I actually have a story for you guys that I wrote laying in bed the other day that um, I felt quite passionately about. Um, as you know, I'm always questioning life and when things come into my head, I start writing and usually I don't stop until um, I've written something that makes sense to me. So although a lot of these things might not make sense to you, it's sort of how my brain works. My brain works in a very visual way. So the way I like to write um, is very is, has a lot of imagery throughout it and a lot of metaphors for life. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are enjoying these stories. I get a lot of um, positive um, feedback, but if you guys want to be listening to my stories, I do um, include all my voiceovers into my podcast, DNM with Britton McCowan. So you can go check out my podcast. Um, I do have one that I haven't spoken about on this channel. It's called Ego, um, and it's one of my mother's favorites. So I will put a link in the description box below if you wanted to listen to my podcast about ego. And yeah, let's begin the story. What makes us happy? I look deep, deep down to the core, and ask what I'm looking for. I sit in silence and whisper to the unknown. I hope that someone will hear my call. I ask for abundance. Something's not aligning, and I'm unsure why. Am I chasing a wrong dream? I feel happy when I have no appointments, no expectations, and my day is filled with limitless creativity. I find joy in simple things, a cup of tea on a grey day, but I put myself in the chaos and hustling of human traffic, sucking my energy dry. I know when I am weak and my body is run down, but I am still running around chasing an invisible dream. I wonder. Do some people ride the path of life effortlessly as if they knew deep down they were always on track? Have they aligned so perfectly that life is a slide and they are zooming towards the finish line? Am I still climbing up the stairs waiting to slide down? Or do we create our own playgrounds full of obstacles never spoken about? I don't see your uncertainty and flaws. You aren't real. You are a perception in my head. We have created an ideal version of who we are. Storytelling is just a manipulation of reality, which we have all become experts at. I look at you and see myself in 20 years. But what I don't realize is that you look at me and you see yourself 20 years ago. Trust is all I have left. Trust and belief in myself and what I have to offer. I am filled with what I was created to become. Now I must trust in the spark inside that says this feels right and let that spark grow. Thanks so much for listening to my story today and watching my tutorial. Um, I really enjoyed making this flip book. It was really fun and bright and vibrant. And I absolutely love using these little sticker girls that I got a few weeks ago. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed also using my watercolor paintings of um, different post boxes around the world. If you guys know of any post boxes that'd be really cool to paint, let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.